Hey, it's Clay at ClayTrader.com. This is my top 10 stocks as we head into Wednesday, November 1st. This will be a technical analysis breakdown. So if you're someone that uses charts within your trading, or maybe you're just interested in learning more about charts and how they can be used as a tool to help make good decisions as a trader, this will be a video for you. First off, a couple quick clarifications. Number one, the candlestick that you see over here will be moving around. That is because the market's still open for a small amount of time. But I like to do these videos when the market is still open because sometimes we can capture some really interesting late day price movement. And then second, I'll be using the 30 minute time frame, meaning each one of these candlesticks here represents 30 minutes worth of time. So stock number one here, ticker symbol PINS, Pinterest had earnings today. And what I like about this is didn't move around a whole lot after the opening, you know, third. now the th first 30 minutes was pretty crazy. Next 30 minutes, nice Ice cream candle but then after that things really just kind of leveled out here within this tight range but that's in and of itself what makes it interesting because you got to throw out the question well what's going to happen when this range is broken and the top part of the range is the level that you got to think a lot of people are watching and that is right up here at this level of the 30 dollar mark so you can see 30 dollars rejected the price there rejected it there even this afternoon has rejected it so a lot of people you got to think are watching that 30 dollars mark and i make that comment because when lots of people are watching the same level wondering the same thing call it a self-filling prophecy call it whatever you want it can produce some very dynamic movements so while there is nothing guaranteed my point here is it's plausible it's valid to think that if the price can come up here and push up through that level a break of 30 could very well create that much more upside buying pressure so if you like these sorts of situations where you have relatively popular stocks within a tight little range and then there's that well-defined breakout point keep an eye on pins next one here cdio nice pattern here and i mean again along the same lines a lot of people you got to think have drawn this pattern so i'm not trying to impress you i'm not trying to imply this is some sort of special skill on my part again you got to think a lot of people have noticed this general pattern right here so let's get our tread line in place right here and then on the flip side of things let's get this level down here there we go change that to green to represent more though so the support and then to make it all one color hopefully make it easier to see so we have our resistance we have our support we have the big explosive move right here. A few golfers out there make it a little bit more visual. Put the golf hole down here. This would be known as a bull pennant pattern. So again, no guarantees, but is it valid? Is it plausible that if the price can come up to that area and break up through it, that that break in of itself could create additional buying pressure? Absolutely. So if you're somebody that likes penny stocks, you like bull pennant patterns, keep an eye on it. Next one here, TSLA Tesla. And this will mean a little bit more to those of you that watched yesterday's video. But if you did, hopefully you remember me talking about that green line right there as support. And then that red line up there as resistance because both played a role in today's movement. So we'll start off that level of support, which I talked about again right there around the 194.60 mark. But you can see opening 30 minutes, price came down there, came right at that level. So first off, to anybody that watched yesterday's video and picked up uh, some shares down around there, some call options. I mean, congratulations, you got yourself a very, very nice bounce. But that's what also segues in the next part about moving forward is that, yeah, nice bounce, but the level that I talked about specifically in regards to levels of resistance right over here at 202.50, you can see not once, but twice, the problem or the price struggled at that level. So maybe moving forward now over the next couple of days, there is going to be some sort of sideways channel pattern. So that's kind of my, my initial question is, is that what we're going to get moving forward where the price kind of just chops back and forth between these two levels? Now, not necessarily. The price could very well, you know, make a move in either direction. But my point here is that the, these two key levels here have, have become that much more important with the price action that's happened today. So even you can, you know, bring about that, you know, self-fulfilling prophecy aspect again, thinking that a lot of people are probably watching both these levels so you could potentially get some of those movements. But at the end of the day, anyway, look at it. Uh, you know, there seems to be a sideways channel pattern forming, but the price is pretty close to that top part of the sideways channel uh, with that key level of resistance up at 202.50. Next one here, AVTX, nice movement today. Well, I guess that's a matter of where did you buy? Those people that bought right there and then got stuck in that. Probably not great movement, but what I meant by that is th because this part here, no doubt about it, was looking very, very sketchy, but to give credit or credit to, the price has been recovering up very nicely. So it's just really a question of can this upwards uh, upwards movement continue? And to me, the, an interesting level here for that going to be right there at that 11 cent mark in terms of that initial area of resistance, which you can see right here, price is very close to. So does the price, you know, kind of hover below and then make a move over the next couple of days? To me, that's an interesting dynamic to throw out there as a question. As far as levels of support, key level of support, 
that I'd keep an eye on is that purple line right there, the very well-known, the very famous 50-period moving average. I mean, right here, you can see that, generally speaking, that level held strong. So if there is any sort of pullback, then yeah, I would definitely keep an eye on that level. But no doubt about it, nice movement today. And while things were looking very, very sketchy for a while, the price has recovered upwards. So not just a question of can the price recover that much more and break up through that area of resistance. We'll see what happens. Next one here, ticker symbol M-U-L-N. And... Pretty crazy day today, although somewhat of a disappointment. Uh, you know, opening 30 minutes, no doubt about it, huge move upwards. But then that was pretty much all that, uh, you know, all she wrote because you can see the price came up here, got to that key area of resistance right there, pink line, the famous 200 period moving average. And right there, you witness why it's pretty famous. And not necessarily that because the price always gets, you know, that hardly rejected off of it, but it did serve as resistance. But yes, then on the pullback here, you can see that, uh, you know, it was basically a full-blown reversal. Now, I'm not going to say absolutely full-blown because, to be fair, the price was right down here before the movement started. So when I correspond that out, you can see the price, you know, hasn't quite come down to that area yet. I mean, it's definitely close, but not quite all the way back to where it started. But that's also where an interesting potential trade plan comes into play. Uh, because, yes, the last time the price did get down here around this 25-cent mark, there was a nice bounce. Does not mean that, you know, if the price comes down here, it'll for sure bounce. But at least to throw out the question of, hey, you know what? It's bounced here before. Could it bounce again? That seems like a valid question to throw out there. So if you like those sorts of situations, keep an eye on that. Um, as far as, you know, trying to play some sort of turnaround, you could watch that purple line right there. Uh, but uh, there's clearly a lot of downwards pressure that has shown up. Um, so again, at least in my opinion, I think the most interesting approach is potentially trying to play some sort of double bottom bounce. But of course, if you look at this and see something else, then more power to, to you. Real quick, wanted to pause and personally invite you to get signed up for this free live online class that I'm offering here very soon. So if you've been enjoying what you've seen and you want to learn more about this tool, how it can and should be used to build consistency and manage risk, then definitely get signed up for the free live class. If you're watching on YouTube, there's a link down in the description box, or if you're watching at my site, there's an area right there on the webpage that you can click to get signed up. So like I said, if you've been enjoying, then definitely get signed up for the free live class. Next one here is AMC and very, very nice move here. And this will mean more to those of you that have been watching past videos. But if you have, you've probably gotten pretty tired of me. Whoops. Talking about the, whoops. This just shows how big the Sideways channel has become. I can barely fit on the screen. But I've been talking for a long time about this big old multi-week Sideways channel pattern. Just down, back and forth, back and forth. But today, you can see here, price came up there, tested the highs, and has now pushed up and beyond that level. So from a very broad sense, in fact, I'm going to go ahead and get rid of these levels as they serve their purpose for now. From a very broad sense, a very important day, a very good day, because yeah, the price is now up above the top of that pattern, which brings about the first key you know, update is just based on a foundational rule in charting, which states when levels of resistance are broken and closed above, you want to see them act as support. So moving forward now, key level of uh, uh, support to watch would be you know right around that $10.27 mark. So keep an eye on that. But as far as areas of resistance, well, I should take this back. So the first level is just simply where the party stopped today, which is right up there at $10.70. But what happens if the price breaks through there? As you're seeing, we're having a squeeze on the charter quite a bit. Next key area of resistance after that would then be up there right around $11.15. So there is definitely some more room for this thing uh, to get moving here. But anyway, look at it. Great movement today. Not because it was green. In fact, here's an old level. I'll just get rid of that too. But not because it was green. That's not why I'm saying it was such a good day. I'm saying it was such a good day because it broke finally up above that sideways channel pattern. Next one here, ticker symbol F for Ford. And this will mean once again, a little bit more those that watched yesterday's video, but I talked about how the sideways action did it mean that we are getting ready for some sort of upwards movement. And kind of, we got some upwards movement here, but you know, there's gotta, you gotta think there's gotta be a little bit more in the tank than right here. Uh, but of course these are very risky because Ford has been absolutely demolished. But what I do want to get into play, which, uh, you know, just for my personal curiosity, I'm sure gonna be curious how this plays out over the coming days, but let me get that trend line in place. It's right there. Can we get a move where it doesn't necessarily, because I mean, if the price comes down here, that's not sending the price down to those previous lows. But, um, so maybe you want to just play the previous lows. And again, more power to you. Well done for thinking for yourself. But in my in my opinion, that trend line there holds quite a bit of weight where I could see the price coming down there and potentially getting the bounce back up there. But again, no guarantees. That's why risk management matters. But it's, it, it's plausible to throw out that question that, hey, you know what? Maybe, just maybe, if the price goes down to that level, it could create some sort of bounce. So keep an eye on that trend line from a support standpoint. And then as far as areas of resistance are concerned, I can't quite tell that it hit it exactly. 
uh, close, but right there around 995, give or take. You can see this was an area of resistance right here. And then today, you know, the price essentially got trapped right below that level. With all that being said, even if the price does break above that level, I want to get too excited because not that far away up above is that purple line there, the 50 period moving average, which could very real, realistically uh, serve as an area of resistance too. But point here being from a bigger picture is at least you got another sideways movement. So maybe just maybe this is some sort of final overall bottom forming. We'll see what happens. Next one here, SOFI had a brutal day yesterday, but just like that, the price has really started to come back to life. Talked about this in uh, yesterday's watch list, which is where that line's coming from. But you can see got a little bit of a gap up this morning and then that opening 30 minutes, a uh, big solid move. And then as I speak, you can see right now, uh, the price is attempting to go to even further highs here. Um, so overall, now all eyeballs you gotta think are watching that pink line there, which you know is the 200 period moving average. And you can see right here has already rejected the price once. That does not mean that for sure guaranteed it will once again be rejected right there. But it does, uh, you know, bring about the, you know, the talking point that the price is going to need to bring its A game. It's going to need to bring uh, its strength because it's or this level here is already shown to be pretty strong in terms of wanting to press the price back downwards. But uh, as far as you know, you know, kind of the pay per view battle, grab your popcorn, grab your sour patch, kids. It's all about that 200 period moving average from the resistance side of things. In terms of areas of support, I'm going to actually go ahead and get rid of that. And I think that the easiest way to just measure this now moving forward is all about that purple line there, 50 period moving average. So as the time goes by, that line will move itself higher and higher, basically serve as a trend line that's going to draw itself for you. But uh, in my mind, it's all about that pink line. All eyeballs will be watching that. So we'll see if the price can break above it and then generate that much more momentum. Next one, AMD and another nice move here. Uh, still a lot more work that needs to be done, of, yes, but overall, uh, you know, all things considered, where the price at one point not that long ago was sitting down around this area, the price has recovered very nicely. So the first thing to do is actually just adjust this area of support up to here, which was the breakout point from today at 97.50. And 97.50 is now going to be that ideal level of support when you say, Clay, you know, what would make this chart look the absolute strongest going forward? And that would be, in my opinion, if the price can stay up there above 97.50. Now, that being said, if the price drops below that level, does not mean the entire chart's destroyed or anything like that. But that's where the purple line now comes into play, that 50 period moving average, which, as I just discussed, is like a uh, trend line that's going to draw itself for you. So... As that line moves itself higher and higher, as long as the price stays above the tread line, uh, then overall, this current upwards move is putting in those higher lows, which is what it's all about. In terms of areas of resistance, key dynamic here as the next main battleground, in my mind, going to be right up there around $99.30. So keep a close eye on that. But yeah, all in all, very nice day here for AMD. Next one here, TQQQ, which is an ETF that measures the NASDAQ. So if you believe the NASDAQ market as a whole is going to go up, this one will also go up. So it's a very popular ETF. Been tracking this red tread line here, um, and it you know fell back below it actually temporarily this morning, but recovered back upwards. I'm going to go ahead and get rid of that as it served its purpose for now. And I do want to use, uh, actually, I think I might have lied. This level here. Yeah, I did lie. So that level is going to be the next C battleground right up there at the $33 mark. You can see back here, this was a former area of support and then that's just based on the foundational rule that when levels of support are broken which you can see it was broken right there they tend to act as resistance which is what happened right there and right there does not mean that for sure guaranteed it will act as resistance again but again it's, it's an area that i would say to keep an eye on and then if the price is going to push up through that area uh, the bulls really, really better, better bring their a game and then as far as supports two main levels I would consider this a very important level right here at 31.55, and I'm not saying this is what's going to occur, but the reason why that's so important is if the price were to come down there and then break down below it, what's that doing to the price? At that point, the price has gone right back to where it was. And I mean, not to insult your intelligence, but price movements that make nice moves up and then go right back to where they started, not exactly a sign of genuine power. Uh, the preferable level, again, preferable meaning what would make the chart look the strongest would be if the price can maintain up there above that purple line. But all in all, good solid day. So that wraps up the top 10 list here. Again, like I said, if you still like what you saw and you want to learn more about this tool, then go get signed up for that free class. It'll be next week, or not next week, I, I, I just lied. It'll be later this week, Thursday, November 2nd at 7 p.m. Eastern time. So definitely go get signed up for that. As far as these top 10 videos are concerned, if you enjoy these, please do two things for me. Hit the like button, leave a comment, say what you traded today, tell me what your watch list for tomorrow. But those things help out the channel, they help out these videos, and I thank you in advance. So go get signed up for that free class. Thanks for watching, take care, have a good one.